This is Reseus from Frontline Gaming, and we're here. Uh, Tasty Taste came to play a Bay Area Open practice game. Um, what's up, Tasty? Woo! What's up? Or Mr. Taste? Mr. Taste. This is uh, Kino. He's on the paint squad at Frontline Gaming. Um, he's going to be playing his really, really cool looking Blood Angels army uh, with, with a bunch of. With some added right? crap. I don't know, he, he picked up some recruits from my Space Wolves oh, uh, to pull it out. I don't want to score units. <laughs> That's because Kino's normal army has no scoring units. Yeah, I don't like scoring units. Yeah, he, he, he rolls like a boss. I'm all about the death. <laughs> yeah, all about that. You want to table people. But his, his army's rad. We'll get some close-ups later. It's got some freehand murals painted all over him, so it's really cool. Yeah, it's very good. And he's playing Tasty Taste's uh, Oryx, which is also a really awesome looking army. Um, this is the table. This is the way most of the Bay Area Open tables are going to look. We go for symmetry because it makes for equal games. Um, they rolled up deployment. It's going to be spearhead deployment. And uh, now we're going to go through the order of operations for playing a very open game. Uh, the deployment and the mission are going to be predetermined. Um, the next thing you do is roll to see who places uh, sees ground objectives. Uh, the winner of the roll off places two and goes first. Do you hear that? Oh, no, I Mis get two. Anyway. Mr. Taste. Anyway. So you place these objectives exactly as normal, 12 inches from the table edge or another objective. So Taste Taste places first one. I, I, I'm deciding. I don't know, I'm scared now. <laughs> uh, don't be scared. Uh, we'll go there. Yeah, All right. 12 inches away? Yeah, yeah, 12 inches from another objective or a table edge, just like normal. Oh. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a bloodbath. It's gonna be a bloodbath. And so then uh, Taste Taste places places the third. All right. And I believe I believe that is twelve inches. I think it's probably more like that. Okay. So then the next step is to roll to see who goes first. Yep. Oh, do I have to place the other? Oh, yeah. So oh, Nick wins this one again. Oh wow! Oh, wow. So now Nick chooses his table quarter. It's spearhead deployment. He's going to choose his table quarter. Or I can give quarter. him to go first. That's true. Do I want him to go first? It's very. It's a. It's a good question. I, I want him to go first. All right. So Kino, you place your objective. Now with these, this is a slight deviation from the book. They must be 12 inches from a seized ground objective. They can. There's no distance from the corner of the board. And they must be 18 inches from another capture and control objective. Okay, and you can put your objective anywhere in your deployment zone. It's just like normal capture and control. There you go. And it can be 12 inches, what did you say? It must be 12 from another objective, 18 from another capture and control objective. And you can put it in the corner of the board if you choose, just like normal capture and control. No, it has to be in your deployment zone. Yeah. You make a triangle? Sure. The trifecta. Trifecta two. Yeah. So with Barry open, the Barry open scenario, um, like a lot of the big tournaments in the country, <coughs> it's uh, multiple objectives. Basically, you're paying all three book missions simultaneously. The person who accomplishes more missions wins. It's capture and control, seize ground, and kill points. So each one of those is its own victory condition. It it's, takes a little bit of getting used to. You play one game and you get it. And so there's a lot more going on than uh, just straight book missions. So uh, Kino is going to go first. We're going to check in after deployment. All right, guys. Tasty taste. Let's go over our army lists uh, for this battle. Uh, we'll start with Kino. Go what you got here. I got a, a Rhino with a Stormbolter and a six-man death company. This has a seven-man death company with a power fist. This one has a power weapon on this side. This right here has a, a power weapon and a power fist. And I'm using him as Astroth the Grim because mine you is have in sauce. To. Mine is in sauce. And uh, here's my Terminators inside the Land Raider uh, Crusader with with no multi melta. And they they go with a um, a chaplain and a sanguinary priest. And here are some assault squads with no additional things added to them. Same thing here in uh, in Ryan, in Razorbacks with heavy bolters. Yeah, each. All right. So what I got here is um, pretty much a green tide army for the most part. Um, I got two 30-man boy squads with knob with power claws, usual. I got my um, grot squad objective holding thing. I got snick rot with commandos, and I also have storm boys. I have a truck with five mega knobs. 
I have Mad Doc with the actual Mad Doc model, and then this guy with this banner is my Gaz because I don't like the Gaz model. So I got this cooler converted dude. Anyway, that's it. We'll see what happens after uh, Kino deploys. So here we are after deployment. Kino is uh, going first because Mr. Taste was so gracious as to allow it. And he's the gracious one. <laughs> hey, that's my voice I'm supposed to be using. <laughs> Jeez. So Kino deployed really, really <laughs> aggressively and he left one squad of um, assault marines on his uh, capture and control objective. And since the uh, seize ground objectives are pretty much all mid board, it looks like it's going to be pretty ready. Yeah, weird stuff, huh? um, Nick has deployed his uh, orcs yeah. also uh, pretty aggressively. He looks like he's going to duck out for the first turn of shooting and then he's going to be uh, all up in Kino's go. So. My prediction, oh, no. turn two, is going to be a massive yeah. bloodbath right here. I, I, I'm, I'm, I have um, my, my years of experience. I'm <laughs> <gonna see that. laughs> so we'll check in at the uh, top of turn one. Actually, uh, Nick, you're going to try and seize the initiative? Um, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Uh, do your worst, Kino. Here we are at the top of turn one. Uh, big shocker, Kino went straight forward, oh, no. as you'd expect. and. Here's a close-up of some of his tanks with the murals painted on him. Kino's very talented painter. Um, general advance and the Land Raider Crusader killed four Storm Boys. I sense Ooh. the Storm Boys will get revenge <laughs> <laughs> shortly. But Kino's got him full of Death Company and he plays uh, appropriately. <laughs> Stream. I'm so angry! <laughs> I will check in at the bottom. So we are at the bottom of turn one. Um, another shocking display of tactical acumen. No one foresaw this. <laughs> Storm boys ran forward and blew up the rhino. <laughs> <laughs> I was not foreseen. I, I shot. We consulted the oracle. Consulted the oracle. It was all foreseen. So. Um, Please compose yourself. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> Kino's funny. We. Uh, uh, my next. My next. Uh, Prediction? Prediction <laughs> is that the storm might won't be there at the end of the turn. <laughs> Confusers, we did my team! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll check in at the bottom of turn, turn, turn one. Turn two. Two. Or top of turn, turn two. two. Here we are at the uh, top of turn two. Um, big surprise, Kino counterattacked. Wiped out the storm boys. So oh, now, no. now they are traded one kill point for one kill point. And we'll see uh, what Nick uh, counters with in his turn. Uh, but uh, so far, they both hold their capture and control objective, and that's it. Yeah. Since Death Company aren't scoring, that seize ground objective is uh, doing nothing but getting in their way of running closer <laughs> to the enemy. <laughs> so we'll come back at the bottom of turn two and see if uh, Nick can pick up some more. So we are at the bottom of turn two. Nick's turn was uh, really short. Yeah. Because none of the reserves came on, but Please thankfully, wait. the Grotz. Yeah. They showed up to save the day. <laughs> um, Kino, did you do any damage, Nick? No, I didn't shoot anything. I uh, just shuffled. He's staying out of line of sight. Um, so he should be out of charge range by everybody except Osteroth, Osteroth the Grim. Um, and we'll see what Kino can do on his turn. Yeah. Um, maybe hit the Mega Knobs and Gas. We'll see. Yeah.